A lot of women, when they're going to get married, they want to have longer hair. They want to put their hair up and have half down, half up, which is what we're going to do. Um, but as you can see, Rebecca has really fine hair and it's not that long. So we've made some custom made extensions to match her hair. Ooh, ah. And we're going to be placing these into her hair. Um, as we go. So here she is with her extensions clipped in. They were custom colored. They're matching beautifully with her own hair. We layered them a little bit and now she's got a gorgeous head of luscious full long hair. So I've sectioned off the top section here and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of strengthening control spray from Pureology and I'm going to put some light back combing in both around her face so just a little bit at the root there and a little bit inside. So we're just going to start to add a little more volume to her look because as you know, brides, you know, they're going to be, she's going to be on the dance floor. Got to make this stuff last. So even though we don't want it to be big, we do want it to be fuller and we want it to have security. So that's why we want to go ahead and put a cushion into her hair. And then I'm just going to do that all the way through the top. So picking my section up and I'm just going to comb through the ends a little bit and then I'm going to put my cushion in at the base. Okay, so we've put our volume in now and what I'm going to do now is just start to place the hair a little bit with my hands. Start to just take little pieces and sort of smooth them out on the surface without taking all the volume out. I'm going to take my hand into this area right here and I'm just going to turn it and pin it into place like that. So I'm going to go inside the twisted part and then back on itself. And then what I'm going to do is start to bring the side back into it. Just going to twist that around. And place our pin again into it and then back on itself. I'm going to bring this side back. Just making sure that that shape is always being thought about there. Bringing that back. And you can see where my fingers are. I'm just going to go in and place bobby pins right in between those pieces. And this is where if someone's going to wear a veil or a little bit of a flower or something like that, it's a nice spot for it right in here. And then it can be worn over the shoulder or it can be worn just down in the back, but it's got a very loose, didn't try too hard kind of vibe. Here's a tip a friend of mine showed me is when you want to put flowers in the hair, how do you get them secure? So here's a regular um, hairpin, the kind that's open on the end, and I'm just going to take that place it through the flower, a couple of petals in, place it through and then right through the petal so that it comes out the other side like this. And then you have something to pin into the hair. So I'm just going to place a few flowers just right here along this seam where we've sort of rolled her hair in. So here's our bride finished, ready for the aisle. Take a look at the shape from the side. It's got a little bit of volume here, a little bit of rigid bardot. It's got a loose, romantic kind of feel, but it's still on the natural looking side.